Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto. We, the North, we're all about these Raptors now, I know. I mean, yes, when they won the championship, I love the Raptors. But let's move forward. Let's get to some good fights in Canada and stop winning basketball games. It's not supposed to be the same. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Timing his shots nicely here, champ. Doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Kick right under that right elbow. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Oh, you don't wanna be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. Watch guillotine. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. And they separate. Quick entry to get Man, in on a single. That was a great single. Oh, oh. Deep oh. Deep oh. Deep. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That shows the power, and the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Ooh, what a punch. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hit to put his opponent on the leg. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Right on the button. Oh! Round two winding down. Second round underway. Okay. Nermago Medov's knee strike there is blocked, so no damage inflicted. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. No, he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Back to his feet. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the strike. Oh, kick home, and now 
his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize he was too high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Big power for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Shot, and you see his opponent reacting. Five that one. Oh, well, while there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Finish it. Finish it. Oh, oh, the he's gonna tag armbar here. Oh man, that was slick. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And that's the end of round number two. Third round underway. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Nermago Medoff. Oh, nice knee to the ball. Oh, he's on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh! Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. Nurmagomedov's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. 